you guys it's and Singapore and I'm back with another video so today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to catch a queen ant but before I get into that I'm going to need to teach you how to identify one so a queen ant is not very hard to identify one thing you have to remember is size does not, not matter queens can range from as small as two millimeters to as large as three centimeters so what does in fact separate a queen from the workers is the wing scars. Queens always have a wing scar at their thorax, which is basically the middle section of an ant. However, if you are having trouble seeing the wing scars as they are very small and you can only be seen if you are looking at them very at close up, you can judge by the size of the thorax. Usually, queens have to fly in order to mate, so they have wing muscles and these wing muscles cause the thorax to be a bit swollen. Now up to here you can separate a queen from a worker. But you can be also be confused with males and queens. So males have a more wasp looking body and the gaster, which is the last part of the male, is pointy and looks almost like um, it can sting you. Queens however have a rounded gaster, it almost looks like a ball and this may apply for most ants um, but some specific ants may have different looks take a look at, at this trap jaw queen egg one. the gaster is actually very pointy which is basically what you will see in a male ant but this is a queen so the gaster is slightly so, sorry not the gaster um, the thorax is slightly swollen and it has the wing scars sometimes wings can also i mean sorry queens can also keep their wings so if a queen ant has her wings on it doesn't mean that she isn't fertile so speaking of fertile not all queens are able to produce workers only queens who have mated can so when you catch your queen ant it isn't a definite guarantee that you will be able to start a colony so now that you know how to identify a queen ant now it's time to how it's time to learn how to find it. So before you go catching your queen ant, you're gonna have to house make a house for them. So for me, I'm using a test tube, which is the best housing you can give to a starting queen. And I'm using this test tube, but uh, if you don't have a test tube lying around, I'll I'll be giving you another tutorial later. So. This is the best housing you have, so go ahead and get a test tube. It's not that expensive, maybe one to two dollars. Um, you can find them at probably some art stores or uh, science stores. So first of all, you want to fill your test tube up, probably around halfway, so you can so they have enough water to drink and hydration. And you don't want to give too little or too much. So I'm gonna be using some cotton. To stuff the water and I'm using two pieces of cotton here because this tube is slightly bigger than the normal tubing you might find so I'm, you just want to curl it up into a ball something like that and then stuff it into the top here so once you got it like that into the tube get your uh, q-tip and push it in so once it's pushed, you just push it in and hold up here. You can see that here there's just a bit of area with water, if you can see. Try not to let it cross to here so your ants don't flood. So we have this area to, for our ants to live in. And here's the one more piece of co cotton and I'll be using that just as the all right it's way too loose but you know you get the point and your queen will be housed in there so 
here's the alternative to what you should do if you don't have a test tube. So if you don't have a test tube, you can you can actually use like a plastic um, box like this. You can use. I mean, you don't have to make it. You don't have to have one that's circular. You can use one like like this if you want. But if your ant is not, if the queen is not very big, then try not to make give give it too much room or it might feel uncomfortable so what you need to do for this is you all, this is what you need tape water you don't need a pipette I'm just using it and some cotton so uh, sorry it's a bit dirty but it's fine I'm just using this for uh, the video and you'll need the cover too but I currently don't have it with me so just for the video just ignore that so first what you're gonna have to do is get the cotton and get some tape so get the tape paste it on the cotton like this and then paste it inside right there just like that and take another piece of tape in there and now you get your water and just put in make the make sure the cotton the cotton is just wet don't have to make it soaking wet but just wet enough to drink you can feel it with your own hand and see if it's enough so once it's enough that's it you just cover it on with the cover uh, but make sure to poke some holes in your cover so there's some air if not your queen will probably suffocate so yeah, that's it. And by the way, uh, I'm not gonna be adding the catching of the queen part in this video. I'll be saving it for the next video because this video is getting quite long and it's gonna take a while to process on my computer. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.